two weeks, Father's Day, sitting around the table, 11.30 a.m. I bring up, maybe we should change some gifts right now. My brother hands him an envelope, $50 gift card to Carlos Hardware. My mom hands him an envelope, $50 gift card to Hardware. He looks at me, and he says, BJ, did you get me an envelope this year? I said, no, sir, I did not get you a gift card. And he said, well, did you get me anything? And before I can answer him, the doorbell rings. And I go, and my dad gets it. And he opens the door, and it's the Lowe's delivery man. And the Lowe's delivery man just looks my dad square in the face and says, did somebody order a lawnmower? <laughs> but he said it in the way like a stripper telegram would say it. You know, like some guy shows up the door dressed up like a UPS delivery man, be like, hey, ladies, do you like one of the giant package? The only thing this man was missing was a boombox playing girls, girls, girls. And my dad still didn't get it. My dad thought my brother got it, and my brother, it was the wrong house. It's like, nobody here ordered one. I said, Dad, maybe you should check the name on the invoice. Maybe one of your, one of your kids bought it for you. Because he's trying to impress you and show you that he's not a little girly boy talking about his feelings all the time. So my dad looked at him. For the first time in a very long time, my dad turned into a giddy school where he ran out, backed it off the trailer himself. And I swear to God, in 15 minutes, it looked like he was doing a, 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 a the elliptical workout in the front yard, just cutting fucking circles. And that day I learned a very, very valuable lesson. You cannot, money cannot buy you happiness. Money cannot buy you a lot of things in this world, but it can buy your father's love and approval. <laughs> this is a song about that. Thank you. 